seems to have uh, to, to be looking like that. Uh, that <clears throat> my last video got a lot of views. Maybe a little bit there. Let's read. Um, hold on. Let me get to, uh, to the last page. Um, sorry guys. Mm. Okay, here we go. So this is it. Uh, Cledo C. Lackey. I just went off the pronunciation there uh, on this book, so I don't know where to pronounce it. Fossil location, North America, a diet carnivorous with fish and marine animals. Weight unknown, length up to 2 meters, 6 feet long. Height unknown, meaning of name, branch shark because of its triple pointed teeth. Fossil evidence, whatever is its name is, skeletons lack bones and decompose quickly, so few became fossils. Intact fossils of bony fish have been fa found in the stomachs of uh, some specimens. Uh, specimens uh, usually positions to uh, to uh, indicate that that they had been eaten tail first. This uh, implies c whatever uh, out, out paced its prey and, uh, and pulled them. Uh, back into its mouth, which was mounted at the front of its head. The, this, this shark's fins, spin sp spines were sharp, uh, shorter and sharper than the spikier spines of its relatives. One, Ignea, Ignemia, was, uh, was that males had no claspers used by sharks for mating, so, so no so no one is sure how these create uh, creatures um, reproduced. How big is it? About the size of an average person. Prehistoric prehistoric animal devil name. Teeth. Whatever whatever its name, its uh, te teeth were smooth and multi uh, cusps. Cusps. Hmm. I don't know. D a good for grabbing. Right. Body shape. This. Oh dear. Uh, focus. This early shark had had a simple and dynamic body with a shape with a flexible light a light skeleton that helped. It moved fast. Oh yeah, we're in the world, the warm seas of North America. Uh, Yosthen of Teron, Teron. Tehran. <laughs> Fossil location: Canada, Europe, uh, Europe. A uh, carnivore, carnivorous. Hi, weight unknown. Length: two point seven centimeter to one meter. Uh, height unknown. G a good strong for uh, for uh, fin uh, fin because uh, because of the sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. Sturdy eternal bones of its vertical fins. Fossil evidence: the, the numerous fossils found uh, m make this one the most study. Oh my gosh! St studied animals in history. There we go. Its uh, its fin and ex endoskeleton ha has a distinct uh, set of muscular lobes that look like limbs, and drawings once showed it qu uh, quite wrongly on land, but because it was uh, it was a marine uh, uh, <sighs> because it was a marine animal. It it, sh uh, it shares uh, features with uh, with t uh, tetrapods, four-legged creatures uh, such as. Uh, 
uh, similar te teeth and, and nostrils. Uh, paleontologists speculate it also had strong lungs. Specimens come in many sizes, but but studies of the skeleton of the skeleton bone structures show, show this fish w usually w went through uh, to grow growth spurts in its lifetime. Pre a prehistoric animal, the Devonian. Oops. There we go. How big is it? So that's pretty, pretty small. There are small, uh, small teeth on bo uh, both the, the upper jaw, uh, the upper and lower jaws, with fangs a, a little farther back in the, the mouth. This was was easily a nasty predator. Fins, the, the uh, median, hmm? Fins are f far back on the body and, and shaped like sails, allowing the fish to sprint and surprise its prey. <clears throat> Ichthyostega. Uh, uh, fossil location, Greenland, uh, diet carnivorous. Uh, weight unknown. Uh, length of 1.55 uh, five meters, five, 5 feet. Height unknown. Meaning of name. Fish root uh, roof because, because the bones uh, of its skull, skull roof are very fish like. Fossil evidence. Ichthyostegia. Ichthyostegia. A, a, a early tetrapod that lived in the upper De uh, Devonian period is one of the earliest and best known tetrapods, along with Anchthians uh, uh, Stega, also from Greenland. Abundant specimens collected in, in the late ni in 1920s and 30s were the first Devonian tetrapods to be to, uh, to be found and described. <laughs> Most of the skeletons. Uh, is well represented, except frustratingly the hands. Oops. Knowing what the hands w were like is essential to understanding the the, uh, the tetrapods first transition to uh, to a terrestrial tra 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 uh, life. Oh my gosh! I can't say anything. Devonian tetrapods are, are traditionally referred to as amphibians, but, uh, but uh, the first true amphibians appeared in the Carboniferous period. Prehistoric animal Devonian t timeline years, years ago. Zoom in there. So, yeah, you see right there. That's how big it is. Ribs. Some of Ichthyostegia's. Uh, Ribs uh, broaden the dramatically, uh, uh, dramatically in the. I just, I, it's actually kind of hard um, to like do this kind of stuff because like the camera's constantly shaking even though I'm not moving. For some reason, it's just really like that. Like I'm not gonna move right now. Still moving. I'm so yeah. So it's really hard to record these kind of videos and also uh, to like um to like read through my iPad because like it's kind of staticky and whatever. So uh, some of the Ostegia's uh, ribs broadened dramatically uh, in the middle and extensively overlapped the adjacent ribs. The, these evidently restri re restricted flexibility and may have. B being related to its breathing. Okay, over here. Focus. Toes. The hind feet of Ichthyostegia, each hand uh, seven digits. It is currently unknown what the hands looked like, but they probably ha had more than today's vertebrae maximum of five digits. Okay, turn the page. Turn. Should probably turn on more lights. As soon as I can get this. Okay, uh, nice. I'm gonna 
we're gonna turn on some more lights. So yeah, you can skip. To, uh, you can skip until I read again, but just for now, I'm just gonna get more lights in here. Please. Yes, that's the reason why. Now there should be more light, and um, the camera can be used to put the focus better. Yep. Dunkleosteus. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Ah. Fossil location worldwide. A wide. Diet carnivorous. Uh, pronunciation. Dun dun oh no, I don't need to do that. Wait, one ton. One point one tones. Tonus. Six meters, 20 feet. Oh my gosh. I don't know the meaning of the name. D a dunkle of the bo bone after the former curator of the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. Also, evidence the Cle Cleveland Museum of Natural History hol holds the most famous Dunkley osseous specimen. The armored fr frontal sections of this predator primarily have survived in the fossil record. So, reconstructions are, ba are based on smaller members of the order. Uh, whatever is that? Oh, that is. Fossils uh, are. Fossils are often found with bone mass and, and, uh, and the partially eaten remains of other fish, suggesting that, that it tends to regurgitate bones or that it suffered from the indigestion. Uh, uh, armored, with uh, armored with unhealed bites marks uh, suggest that Dunkley Osseus may, uh, may, uh, also may have turned to can cannibalism. Oh, yeah, that's not it. There we go. Now, instead of te teeth, uh, Dunkleosius had two sharp, bony plates that, that, were formed a, uh, that formed a beak of which the force of its bite was concentrated. Dunkleosius came right at the top of its food chain and was one of the most fierce. Uh, Marine predators that ever lived. Its size and weight meant, meant that it lacked speed, but 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 it had a bite that was so, uh, both fa fast and fast and powerful, and, and almost four times as strong as the Tyrannosaurus rexes. Oh my God! It was so powerful, in fact, that it, that it. It's ne it never be uh, equaled. Ca capable of exerting the pressure of uh, 5,600 kilograms uh, per square centimeter. 80,000 pounds per, uh, per square inch. It could, it could uh, tear its prey in two with just a single bite. A and its prey w was whatever it should. Oops, it zoomed in a little bit too much. Zoom out! Zoom out! No, don't zoom in! Zoom... Okay, there we go. Oops. Hunty. Dunkley Osseus could, could open its mouth very quickly, creating a very powerful suction that, uh, that poured its prey into its mouth. So that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Reproduction. A Dunkley Osseus may, may have been among the first creatures with which f females carry the young inside their bodies rather than laying eggs. Evidence for this it comes from the fossilized remains uh, a, a plesiogerm mess. <laughs> Not gonna attempt to, uh, to pronounce that. Found in the Gogo Formation in Australia. This fe this female uh, had died while giving birth. Uh, before the fossil discovery, it was assumed that the first re cr a creature to, uh, to nourish its young inside of its body appeared 200 million years after the plesiogerms. 
successful but short-lived. Jungle Yasius uh, belonged to a class of armored plated fish known as Plasioderms, but only their heads and thoraxes were protected by armor. The last what was either naked or covered with scales. One of the earliest fish to have jaws, it dominated the environment but survived for only about 50 million years, leaving no re relatives. Sharks, by contrast, have existed for 400 million years. Okay. That thing is terrifying. So yeah, I think we're done with the Dunkleosteus page. Celio can't. Celio can't. Vital stats. Fossil location. Oh my gosh, focus! Okay, there we go. Borderline carnivorous is so. Cephalopods such as cuttlefish, squid, and oct octopus. Uh, so I want to eat. Wait, up to two, uh, 82 ki kilograms. Length up to 2 meters. Uh, uh, height unknown. The hollow spine supporting the tail, tail fin. So, uh, cornea means hollow and a camp is spine. Fossil evidence. One mystery about the, the coelacanth is the, no fossils have been found covering the last 65 million years. The, uh, this may be because it, it, it moved to habita <coughs> ha habitats near steep volcanic islands where fo fossils are unlikely to, uh, unlikely to form. These ancient creatures have, uh, have many characteristics. That, that distinguish it, them for, uh, from a uh, rostral organ and the, the snout, which with which it, it seems seems to uh, to position itself upright to use on the seabed, and and a unique hinge that that allows the, the mouth to open up very wide. It also has three a three lobe tail. Prehistoric animal Devonian into the day. Look at that fish boy. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure, uh, deep sea divers have actually found a coelacanth in real life. Like right now, like in like 2014. Like the first fossils were, were discovered in the oceans of off Africa, but but coelacanth fossils have been found worldwide. Look at that fish boy. Earlier, um, Yogi Rhinus. Question mark. Question mark. Fossil location. Uh, fossil location in England. Diet f fish. Uh, uh, weight uh, 560 kilograms. Half a ton. Length 4.6 uh, meters. 15 feet. Height unknown, meaning of the early frog because it was a primitive amphibian. Fossil evidence. Uh, Eogirinus e e was larger than any animal living on land. It, it, at the time, it was a lot alive. With uh, twice as many vertebrae as uh, most amphibians or reptiles, Eogirinus e was, uh, was very flexible and was able to move its long tail and body easily through it. Through the swamp, uh, swamp land, its uh, its its short uh, short limbs were fine for paddling and, and steering, uh, uh, but it but meant that, that it would would ha have been uh, unable to to lift up uh, lift its belly up when moving around on dry land. It it lived around a, a main. It lived a main around a mainly aquatic life. It li lived a mainly aquatic life, 
lurching in shallow waters and, and bursting up to snap its long jaws around its prey. Great stark animal and car a carboniferous. Zoom out a little bit. Teeth. For its size, Eurogenius so was comparatively light, allowing, allowing quick, uh, agile movements. It, it, it is spectacular. It, it, it could have drowned its victims <coughs> with a lethal death roll underwater. So, yeah. Jaws. Deep, narrow head. I had long jaw, jaw muscles that equi uh, equipped Eurogerinus uh, with a strong bite similar to, to a crocodile's head. Okay, so I think I'm going to end up off the video there. Okay, bye bye.